All right, buckle up, everybody, because today we're going deep on AI in healthcare. Definitely a hot topic these days. Yeah. <laughs> and to help us navigate it all, we're going to be looking at a TEDx talk by Dr. Harvey Castro, a.k.a. DRGPT. Ah, uh, yes. You know, you got to see this TEDx talk. You've been raving about this one. It is, I think, honestly, one of the best talks I've seen on the subject. Okay, well, now I'm really intrigued. Yeah, his explanations are so clear. And he even uses, get this, deep fakes in the presentation. Oh, wow. But what I really appreciate is how he gets that sweet spot. You know, he shows the potential of AI. Right. But he doesn't just get lost in the hype or start, like, fear-mongering. Okay, that's good. I hate when people do that. Yeah, and it makes sense, right. He's an ER doctor. So he's coming at it from like real world experience. Exactly. He knows how AI can actually help both doctors and e-patients. So he's not just some tech bro talking about AI in the abstract. Nope. This is the real deal. Okay. Well, I am sold. Good. But before we get too deep into the AI stuff, can you just set the stage a little bit? Like, how does Dr. Castro frame this whole issue? Well, he starts with a pretty sobering statistic. Oh. He points out that there is a global shortage of 10 million healthcare workers. Wow, 10 million. Yeah, and that means, you know, millions of people around the world just don't have access to even basic care. That's really puts things in perspective. It does. It's like we hear about these amazing advances in medicine, but- Right, there's this whole other side of it. Yeah, a huge gap between the potential of healthcare and the reality for a lot of people. And that's exactly what Dr. Castro is getting at. Okay, so where does AI fit into all of this? He uses that statistic, the shortage, to set up his main argument. AI isn't about replacing doctors and nurses. It's mm -hmm. about empowering them. To do more. Exactly. To reach more people. Make healthcare more equitable. Yes. And accessible for everyone. Okay, so not robots taking over the hospital. No. AI as a tool to help healthcare professionals do their jobs better. You got it. And he has some pretty compelling examples to illustrate this, right? Oh, absolutely. One that really stuck with me was the story of Al Courtney and her son, Alex. Oh, I love a good story. Me too. It helps bring these concepts to life. So what happened with Alex? Okay, so Alex was only four years old when he started having these really serious health problems. Oh, no. Yeah. And over three years, they saw 17 different doctors. 17. 17 countless tests. Wow. But no one could figure out what was wrong. Oh, man, that's heartbreaking. As a parent, I can't even imagine. Yeah, feeling so helpless when your child is suffering. Totally. And no one has answers. And that's where AI comes in. Okay, so what do they do? Al decided to put all of Alex's medical data into an AI system. Mm. And within seconds, and seconds, it provided a diagnosis. Wait, hold on. The AI diagnosed Alex after 17 doctors couldn't. It did. That's, I mean, that's incredible. Right. And a little bit scary, to be honest. It is pretty mind-blowing. But I guess it shows what AI can do. What it can do. Yeah, it's amazing how it can analyze huge amounts of data. Right. And spot these patterns that humans might miss. So even with all their training and experience, those doctors just couldn't see what the AI saw. Exactly. And Dr. Kasher is very clear about this. AI is not meant to replace human doctors. Right. But it can be this incredibly powerful tool. To help them make faster, more accurate diagnoses. Exactly. And he says something like... Oh, he has this great quote. Yeah. He says, human plus AI will beat the best human or the best AI. Ooh, I like that. It's so good, right? Yeah, it really gets at that collaborative potential of AI in healthcare. Oh, really. But I'm curious... So it sounds like Dr. Castro is actually using AI in his own practice. Oh, yeah. It's not just theoretical for him. Not at all. So how else is he using it? Is it just for diagnosis? Not even close. Okay, tell me more. He's also using AI to revolutionize patient education. Interesting. What does that look like? He's all about making medical information more accessible, oh, okay. more engaging. Oh, I like that. So, for example, he ditched traditional discharge paperwork. Yeah, and created coloring books for his younger patients. Coloring books. Coloring books. I know, right? That's brilliant. They explain these complex medical concepts through illustrations. So smart. Turning what could be a scary experience into something fun and educational. I love it. Engaging kids and helping them understand their health. That's amazing. And for his older patients, he's using AI-powered comic strips. Wait, comic strips? Comic strips. I got to see these. You do? So instead of like a dry medical pamphlet? He gives them a comic book. That is so cool. It is. Making learning about your health more fun and approachable. Exactly. And it's not just about making things fun. 
He's also using AI to break down language barriers. Oh, yeah. You mentioned that earlier. In a really remarkable way. Okay. I am definitely hooked. Tell me more. We will, but we have to take a quick break. All right. We'll be right back after this. So where were we? You were about to tell me how Dr. Castro uses AI to break down language barriers. Oh, right. Well, he uses AI to translate medical instructions, you know, okay. into 54 different languages. 54? That's incredible. And even sign language. Wow. So no matter what language you speak. You can understand your care plan. That's amazing. Talk about breaking down barriers. Exactly. Making sure everyone has access. Regardless of language. Or hearing ability. To clear and understandable medical information. It's essential. It really is. And, you know, it makes you realize <laughs> yeah. how much we take it for granted. Oh, yeah. Being able to understand what our doctors are telling it's us. It's so fundamental to healthcare. It really is. And speaking of that human connection, right. Dr. Castro tells this really interesting story in his talk. Oh, yeah. I love this story. About a time when he was 12 years old. And he cut his hand. Yeah. On a rusty signpost. I think he had to get stitches. He did. And the doctor didn't give him any pain medication. Oh. Seriously. That's awful. I know. It really left a mark on him. Literally and figuratively. He talks about how bad the pain was. Yeah. But what really stuck with him was this feeling of being invisible. Like just a number. Another case in a broken system. It's so powerful, right? It really is. It reminds us that even with all the advances in technology. Well, but we can't forget about the human element of healthcare. Absolutely. But here's the thing. What? Dr. Castro actually sees AI as a tool to enhance that human connection. Really? I would think more technology equals less human interaction. I know. It seems counterintuitive. It does. But his idea is that AI can automate all those repetitive tasks. Like what? Paperwork, data entry. Oh, okay. Even some preliminary diagnoses. And that frees up doctors to... Spend more time with their patients. So instead of being bogged down with admin work... They can focus on building relationships. Really? Listen. Providing more personalized care. Shifting the focus back to the patient. Where it should be. But, okay, I have to ask. What's that? Does Dr. Castro talk about any of the potential downsides of AI? He does. Yeah. Concerns people have, like bias in algorithms yep. or job losses in healthcare. Those are big ones. They are. And he acknowledges that they're valid concerns. Okay. And he emphasizes the importance of careful development and implementation. Of AI systems. Right, like with the right safeguard. We can mitigate the risks. And use AI for good. It's like any powerful tool. Exactly. It can be used for good or for bad. Depends how we use it. It all comes down to us. But he also makes this interesting point. About? The role of doctors in this AI-powered future. Okay. He doesn't think AI will replace doctors. But it will change their work. They'll need to adapt. To develop new skills. To work effectively alongside AI. Exactly. And one area where he sees AI having a huge impact. What's that? Is doctor-patient communication. Oh, interesting. I am curious about this because yeah. talking to your doctor can be nerve-wracking enough as it is. It can be. So how can AI improve these conversations? Okay, so imagine this. Okay. You've just received some life-changing news from your doctor. Like a new diagnosis. Or a change in treatment. And you're overwhelmed. Totally. Your mind's racing. You can't take it all in. Like you're hearing the words, but they're not sinking in. Exactly. Got too emotional to process it. But what if you had a transcript of that entire conversation? You could go back and read it later. When you're calmer. More ready to absorb the information. That'd be incredible, right? Especially when you're dealing with something complex. Or emotionally charged. Having that record to refer back to would be so valuable. It would, and that's exactly what Dr. Castro proposes. Using AI for real-time transcription. Of doctor-patient conversations. So instead of trying to scribble down notes. You can just focus on listening. Asking questions. Knowing you'll have a complete record later. It takes the pressure off. Empowers patients to really engage. And it could be helpful for doctors too, right? Of course. They could review the conversation. Make sure they explained everything clearly. Identify areas where they could improve their communication. Dr. Castro actually believes AI can be used to coach doctors on their communication skills. Really? Yeah. It can analyze conversations. Yeah. Identify areas where doctors could be clearer Okay. More compassionate, more effective. Like having a communication expert observing every interaction. Providing feedback. Suggestions for improvement. It's amazing. It's like a personal coach for doctors. And it could be really helpful for doctors in training. Totally. And beyond improving clarity. 
Dr. Castro also believes AI can help doctors develop empathy. Empathy, I know, right? How can a machine teach a human to be more empathetic? It does sound strange, but AI can analyze conversations for emotional cues. So helping doctors better understand their patient's perspective. And respond in a more sensitive and supportive way. It's not about AI replacing human empathy. Right. But helping doctors to be more attuned to their patient's emotional states. Exactly. Using technology to enhance human connection. Which is so essential to good healthcare. This is really changing my whole perception of AI. It's not just cold, hard data and algorithms. Right. It's about using technology to make healthcare more human. More accessible. More patient-centered. It's about leveraging AI to empower both doctors and patients. And what about us, the patients? Oh, good question. Yeah. How does Dr. Castro see AI helping patients take more control of their own health? It's a big part of his vision, you know? He really believes AI can transform patients from passive recipients of care into informed advocates for their own health. Oh, I love that. Be more proactive. Exactly. And he gives some really concrete ways AI can make that happen. Like what? Well, for one thing, he encourages patients to use AI for research. Researching their conditions. Understanding treatment options. Okay. And even preparing questions for their doctors. So like having a personalized health advisor. At your fingertips. You can gather information, get a second opinion if you need to. And really make sure you understand what's going on with your own body. Make informed decisions. Exactly. And, you know, think about how short doctor's appointments usually are. Oh, yeah. You only have like 15 minutes. Sometimes less. To discuss everything. Ask all your questions. Process a ton of information. It can be overwhelming. It really can. And Dr. Castro talks about how AI can help patients maximize that time with their doctors. Okay, how so? Instead of trying to remember everything you want to ask, right. you can come in with a list of questions that AI helped you generate. Based on your research. Based on your specific situation. So it's like having a study guide for your doctor's appointment. Exactly. You go in feeling more confident, more prepared. You have a more productive conversation. And this leads to another really exciting possibility. Which is? The role of AI in remote healthcare. Oh, yeah. Telemedicine and all that. Especially important for people in rural areas. Where access to specialists is limited. Right. Imagine AI-powered platforms that connect people with the best doctors. Regardless of where they live. You could consult with a specialist in another city, another country even. From your own home. It could completely change the game. Democratize access to healthcare. And AI can also help with real-time translation during those telemedicine visits. Oh, wow. So you could be talking to a doctor who speaks a different language. Without any miscommunication or delay. This is incredible. We're talking about a future where healthcare is more accessible, more equitable. More personalized than ever before. And I keep coming back to that quote from Dr. Castro. Oh, yeah. Human plus AI will beat the best human or the best AI. It's such a good one. It really sums up his whole philosophy. Yeah, it's not about choosing between humans and AI. It's about finding ways to combine their strengths. To create something truly transformative. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive. Already. I know, it flew by, but we've covered a lot of ground. We have. We've talked about how AI can help doctors with diagnoses, communication, even empathy and how it can empower patients to be more informed and proactive about their health. It's really exciting stuff. It is, but we've only just scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore. And we encourage you, our listener, to keep digging. Watch Dr. Castro's TEDx talk. Do your own research. And most importantly, start thinking about what this all means for you. For your own health journey? The future of healthcare is being shaped right now. And we all need to be part of the conversation. So keep learning, keep questioning. And keep diving deep.